Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Starting with the Tabernacle of David, the 144,000 who under Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right, will be the governing body, all right, of the kingdom of heaven. All right, which is a fulfillment of the throne of David established on earth as it is in heaven. All right. And uh, after them, you have the large multitude, the rest of the men, women and children whom the Lord will have mercy on. All right. That body in the scriptures is known as the remnant. All right. Who in the latter days would awaken. OK. Those who would be on the earth would awaken. All right. Uh, through the preaching of the word. OK. Uh, via Rahakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, all right, for the purpose of prophecy being fulfilled, all right, so that we can be heirs to the promise that was given unto our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of a particular region where we will rule out of, okay, in the kingdom of heaven, all right, which where the government will be set up and we will forward righteousness throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, starting with Yahawashai. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to do a uh, response uh, to this video, um, Elder Apostle Tahar. Um, this is a video where, um, and I remember this guy, he's popped up over the years, but um, I didn't know he went back um, as far as, you know, um, teaching in the old school and all of that. But I do remember him, Adiala, uh, which is a... Uh, Another has been, you know, popping up and going to the enemy, which seems to be a common theme of particular Israelites uh, who fall out of camps or who, who don't have the courage to uh, continue in the faith. All right. It seems like they're all going to this loser, Vocab Malone, all right, to, to give him ammo. All right. Which he probably got seventy five dollars and he looks a damn fool here. And uh, within this video, there's a comment he made about the virgin birth. And I remember this guy, you know, years ago, he was exposing IUIC and he was always crying about the virgin birth saying, how could we teach, you know, contrary to that? Well, that's what ultimately we're going to touch on today. Um, we have various videos on it, but uh, there's always new fruit and the spirit is uh, as the uh, elder and apostles speaking on it. So, uh. I just thought, you know, why not put out a video or try not to make it too long um, pertaining the subject because, you know, the Catholic Church um, worship Mary and they push this uh, false doctrine and the Christian Church. All right. Um, <laughs> took from that. All right. Uh, uh, like the brother said, the Protestants, you know, ultimately they uh, they 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 take from the catholic faith all right but then there's certain things they don't agree with but either way both of them are off all right and um the true understanding has come out in these latter days via all right the uh, remnant being raised up all right and now the whole world is going crazy all right pretty much everybody is reacting and uh falling in place according to prophecy man and you're gonna have the naysayers and this truth and this gospel is not to be or was never uh, uh, meant to be accepted by the masses. Okay, it's going to be something that's uh, strange. And uh, it's going to be separate, holy from anything uh, uh, that the mass majority of the people preach. All right, who have this Bible in their hands. Now, I'm going to start here at Hebrews 7 and 14. Where it states, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, all right? Because going back to uh, Genesis, the uh, 49th chapter, all right? Um, there's a prophecy in the uh, 10th verse that the scepter would not depart from Judah, all right? Uh, meaning the head tribe, all right? And uh, the king ultimately would come through Judah, okay? Nor a lawgiver, also, the high priest will become kings and priests uh, uh, through Judah. All right. Now, 
in the uh, first covenant, the, the Levites were the priests. All right. But there was always uh, understood that there was a higher priesthood and that would come through Judah. So the scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet, meaning uh, our high priest would ultimately come out of Judah until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. All right, so the high priest ultimately uh, that's going to bring all things back together, all right, would come from uh, uh, the loins and lineage of David, all right, which is through Judah. Okay, now let's get the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, and we'll go back to Hebrews okay because um when you go into prophecy you know there, there there's various prophecies of yahweh shah is coming okay now it says here for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given all right and the government shall be on his shoulder all right and his name shall be called the wonderful counselor the mighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of david and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of yahweh all right the lord of hosts will perform this okay so the um the child that will be born unto us okay um which is speaking of yahweh shai um would establish the kingdom which is a fulfillment of the throne of david all right now that child would spring out of judah according to what we read here in hebrews the seventh chapter okay now this is why yahweh shai himself tells you in revelation 22 and 16 i yahweh shai have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches i am the root and the offspring of david the bright and morning star because uh, uh coming through the loins and lineage of david to fulfill those prophecies all right uh you know he was a the, the perfect sacrifice he was everything needed to bring the nation of israel back to the most high all right but he himself tells us he is of the uh root and offspring of david all right now when you go to this word offspring okay genos all right he had a race a nationality all right he was an israelite of the tribe of judah okay kindred offspring family stock tribe nation nationality or descent from a uh, a uh, particular people all right and what people did he come from he came from the nation of israel all right in particular okay uh the tribe of judah all right so going back here to hebrew 7 and 14 it says for it is evident that our lord sprang out of judah which tribe moses spake nothing concerning priesthood right now this word for sprang okay and uh tello okay okay to rise to cause to rise of the earth bring forth plants all right like when you go into the uh book of genesis 1 and 1 all right when the, when the seeds and things were created all right it's, it, basically they were to be fruitful and multiply after their kind all right he gave uh, uh plants all right herbs and particular things seeds okay uh and what happened things spring forth from those seeds okay such as man all right which the uh the order of man kind is man and woman okay man and woman come forth together okay and and things rise from them okay to arise to rise from to be descended from okay it's to be descended from all right it's just that simple to spring all right now to spring up okay so it was evident that our lord sprang out of judah now when you go to the book of matthew the first chapter it's a clear genealogy okay this is matthew 1 and 1 the book of the generation all right of yahweh shah hamashiach the son of david the son of abraham okay which uh th these are men okay now he's the son of david and the son of abraham 
all right because when you go into prophecy really quick let's get the book of psalms 132 psalms 132 and 11 it says the lord have sworn in truth unto david he will not turn from it of the fruit of thy body i will set up thy throne all right now let's go to the hebrew word for this word fruit okay because this was a uh this was a an oath all right going back to the book of uh second samuel the seventh chapter all right which we'll touch on that real quick but the uh word is parya okay fruit all right of the produce of the ground of the fruit of the offspring which Yahweh Shai himself tells us he's the offspring of David okay the the the, the fruit <laughs> the progeny of the womb all right the fruit okay which you have the the earth but the seed is planted into the earth all right the woman is likened into the earth all right and then a reward comes out all right the fruit okay so the lord promised and swore unto david here all right and he will not turn from it that of the fruit of his body he would set up the throne so the messiah according to prophecy will come directly through the loins and lineage of david okay which is what uh, uh when you read this genealogy and now why would he have a genealogy okay if he uh, uh didn't have a father okay the father is where the seed comes from all right when you read the bible it's dealing with the uh the uh the, the progenitors okay the men when you read about shem ham and japheth you don't know none of the names of the women because it's recording the seed that spring forth from those men okay so right here we're reading about the seed all right that uh would spring forth from David and also Abraham who what uh, uh, fathered Isaac okay who had Jacob who had 12 sons all right now when you read it it says Abraham begot Isaac and Isaac begot Jacob and Jacob begot Judas all right now Judas is Judah okay okay Judas is Judah going back to Genesis the 38th chapter okay because that was one of the 12 sons of Jacob okay who the blessing fell upon all right the 12 tribes of israel all right and we always hear about judah all right which are you so-called negroes the messiah himself sprang forth from this direct union between judah and tamar all right now you can read that story on your own but at the very end okay she had twins all right uh, Genesis 38 and 29 and it came to pass as he drew back his hand all right behold his brother came out and he said how was uh, how hast thou broken forth this breach <laughs> this breach all right be upon thee therefore his name was called Perez and afterward all right came out his brother that had the scarlet uh, uh, thread upon his hand and his name was called Zerah okay now Perez and Zerah all right who were uh you know twins okay we're gonna look up this name for res okay so that you can understand that the the lineage of the messiah is tracked throughout the whole bible okay <laughs> but you just have to have the spirit on you parataza okay uh breach um twin son of zarah of judah by tamar the ancestor of the two families of judah the Hezronites and the Hamulites. From the Hezronites came the royal line of David and Hamashiach. All right. From the Hezronites came the royal line of David and Hamashiach. Okay. So that line is tracked through a seed. Okay. And 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 we always have to bring this out. Okay. In Second Samuel, the uh, seventh chapter. Okay. What was the promise that uh, 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 Nathan gave to David that the Most High himself gave to Nathan to tell David? Okay, and we'll just get the point. Second Samuel 7 and 12. And when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, thy seed, which shall proceed out of thy bowels. I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed 
out of thy bowels and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name and I will establish his the throne of his kingdom forever. All right. So the, the, the one who will sit on the, the throne of David and establish the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom of heaven is the throne of David. OK, uh, uh, forever will come directly out of David's lo uh, loins and lineage. OK, and it will be his direct seed. Now, this word seed. All right. Is uh, Zer Zerai. OK, seed offspring. All right. Uh, seed semen viral. All right. Viral and Apostle Ramlob just did a beautiful video breaking down this word of uh, viral and how uh, it just means man. All right. <laughs> Very beautiful information. I can't remember any of it off the top, but uh, Lord willing, I'll go back and, and write it down. But uh, offspring, descendants, posterity. All right. Of moral quality. All right. Semen viral. OK. The, 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 so the promise and prophecy was that the child that would eventually be born onto the earth. You see what I'm saying? To establish the throne of David. OK, which that's what Yahweh Shai would do and is going to do. OK, uh, uh, would come directly out of the loins and lineage of David. OK, so this is why we uh, uh, speak against the virgin birth. And there's more. I mean, so many points. All right. And we haven't really even got started. But uh, Lord willing, I'll probably uh, end up loading other videos we've done on it. Because there's a lot that you have to understand, all right, when, when dealing with this topic as well, all right, but these are just the basic things to know, all right, uh, to prepare you, all right, and just watch, your brothers are going to do videos, and um, more and more edification is coming out through all of these fumbles, you know, as, as you all fumble, we jump on the ball, all right, and we, we take the ball and we score through the Holy Spirit, all right, uh, so the book of the generation, all right, let's look up this word generation in the uh, Greek, all right, Genesis, the beginning, all right, <laughs> the, your origin, all right, the book of one's lineage, all right, which is ancestry or, or progeny, progenitor, what is a progenitor, it's a man, okay, or enumerated, all right, birth, nativity, all right, origin, existence, the will of life, so the Messiah here in Matthew 1 and uh, the first chapter has a genealogy, his generations, okay? And, and, and it would be through David, okay? And it, and it would be through Abraham as well, okay? Who fathered Isaac, okay? Now, who was the son of David? Solomon. Solomon forwarded David's throne for 40 years, all right? And he's going to be mentioned in this genealogy, okay? But, 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 but Solomon's throne was not forever, all right. Yahweh throne will be and it will be the throne of David, according to let's get real quick. Luke one. All right. Luke, the first chapter to prove to you that it's Yahweh that is talking about Luke one. All right. And thirty one. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. All right. Thou shalt conceive. All right. Because uh, as we'll go here a little later or maybe another time. This is before the uh, child was actually conceived in the womb, all right, when the angel came to Mary. And when you go to Matthew, the child was conceived. Now, how do you conceive? All right, the seed, okay, is, is, is enters into the egg and is nourished. That's how you conceive a seed, okay? And we'll have, we have more proof, all right, as we continue going. But thou shalt conceive meaning she will at some point conceive in her womb and bring forth the son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. And he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. So all of the prophecies that we just read, which those were just a few of his coming finally was fulfilled here. All right, thus he was born of the Holy Spirit. OK, as was John the Baptist was born of the Holy Spirit. A lot of people take that term born of the Holy Spirit and make it into a uh, angel, you know, a uh, land with the mother. No, the, 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 we are born of the Holy Spirit because when you read prophecy, it's prophesied that the Israelites will raise up 
Okay, Jeremiah was born of the Holy Spirit as the scriptures, uh, when you read it in Jeremiah, the first chapter, the Lord tells him before I, uh, uh, you know, before you were born, before you conceived, basically, I, I, you know, I knew you, meaning he already had a purpose for you before you, uh, your mother and father came together in that union. Okay, and when you were born, you were born for a very, very important purpose. All right. And, and this is the most important purpose in birth that we're hearing about reading about here with Yahweh Shai. Thus, he was born of the Holy Spirit. He was prophesied to come. And here it is. He came. All right. Now, going back uh, to the book of Matthew. OK, Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob and Jacob begot Judas. All right. One of the 12 tribes of Israel and his brethren. And Judas begot Perez, as we just read. All right, uh, uh, and Zerah of Tamar, and Perez begot Ursum, and it just goes down, okay, through the uh, lineage. Now, as we get down to verse 5, there's a very important uh, note, all right, uh, and it brings up some very uh, notable names, all right. Salmon begot Boaz of Rahab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, all right. Now, when you go to the book of Ruth, Okay, which uh, we've done lessons on this. We have lessons going into the book of Ruth. A lot of people make a big fuss about, uh, you know, Ruth and this big fuss, you know, uh, about, you know, her, uh, you know, her origin and all of this. Well, Ruth was just a vessel chosen. All right. To lay with Boaz. All right. To bring forth Obed, who would have Jesse, who would have David, you see. And this is a very beautiful story where uh, Boaz is the kinsman redeemer, which he fulfilled a, uh, you know, a law. All right. That's uh, written in the Levitical uh, law that was given unto Moses. All right. That if, uh, you know, a particular, uh, you know, one of your family members pass away, you would then redeem the land. All right. But there's a whole, you know, history behind it in law. But ultimately for Boaz to get this land. All right, which was uh, technically it's Bethlehem. OK, uh, you know, where um, David, you know, Solomon and the Messiah himself will be born. All right. He had to uh, deal. He had to take on Ruth. All right. Now, there was a man, you know, who was closer in Ken's. All right. Before him. All right. But he couldn't do it because he said taking on Ruth would probably ruin his inheritance. So he was like, I can't do that. So Boaz came, all right, he took Ruth to wife and he got the land, okay, which, uh, you know, Ephratot, okay, uh, Ephrat, or however you uh, pronounce it, you can uh, look that up as well. You can read the book of Ruth and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, as uh, Boaz and Ruth came together, okay, they, uh, right here, all right, uh, even they, they're, they're tracking it, it says the line of David began here okay and as you read down verse 18 now these are now the line of david you know technically goes all the way back to judah through Perez. now these are the generations of Perez. Perez begot hezron and hezron begot ram and ram begot aminadab aminadab begot nishan nishan begot solomon all right and solomon begot boaz and boaz begot obed okay and obed begot jesse and Jesse begot David. All right. Now we always read. All right. About the root of Jesse. Okay. Because that's a prophecy of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, Isaiah 11 and 10. And that day there shall be a root of Jesse. This is speaking of Yahweh Shai. Which shall stand for an ensign of the people. And to it shall the Gentiles seek. All right. Uh, for mercy. Okay. Contrary to that first covenant. OK, and his rest shall be glorious. OK, so that root of Jesse is speaking of uh, Hamashiach, Yahawashah, who will come out directly out of the loins and lineage of David. So you see here clearly Obad begot Jesse and Jesse begot David. So the Bible tracks the seed of uh, David. OK, uh, and, and, and what's up with you people? All right. So Salmon begot Boaz of Rahab. OK. And Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, Obed begot Jesse, Jesse begot David the king, and David the king begot Solomon, who had been the wife of Urias, 
Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot, uh, and it goes down. Okay, and you can read the whole lineage. It's tracking the lineage. They have the records. Okay, and you get down here. Okay, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. All right, now when you get Luke, the second chapter, okay, it, it clearly tells you Luke 2 and 4. Now, Joseph also went up from Galilee. And this chapter is dealing with Yahweh's birth in Bethlehem. Okay. Now, Joseph, who's the father of the Messiah, who laid with Mary, also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. So the Bible tells you that uh, Joseph was of the house and lineage of David, because that's how the Messiah sprang out of Judah clearly here okay going all the way back to jacob's son judah we're seeing the the lineage of the messiah through the seed okay being passed down so it says and jacob begot joseph the husband of mary now how do you become one's husband what is a husband okay a husband is a, a, a planter that's where you get the term husbandry all right in which you uh, cultivate plants all right, you put seeds into the ground and 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 uh, uh, things spring forth. All right, but our Lord sprang forth out of Judah, and we're just reading about how. All right, it's just simple uh, logic. All right, just it's just good sense because common sense ain't common. Okay, now right here. All right, now there's a uh, scripture in uh, Luke, the second chapter which we'll jump to a real quick where Mary herself refers to Joseph as the biological father of the Messiah. This is Luke 2 and 48. Okay. And the Messiah had brothers and sisters as well, man. Okay. Cutting that, uh, uh ever, ever, uh, lasting virgin doctrine of the, uh, Catholic church, man. All right. It says, uh, Luke 2 and 48. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, because they were looking for Yahweh, why hast thou thus dealt with us? All right. Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing, man. Okay. <laughs> thy father. Let's look up the word father, man. All right. The word for father, which this is the root word, is Pat patriarch which is a patriarch okay which is trying to do they're trying to destroy the patriarch in this world but the generator or male ancestor man either the nearest ancestor father of a corporeal uh, uh nature natural fathers man both parents all right founder of a family or tribe progenitor of a people forefathers so abraham is called uh, uh, Jacob, is David, all right? You know, so here, man, clearly, man. <laughs> so he had a father, and Mary here, right here, is acknowledging, okay, that 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 Joseph is the father. Now, when we go up earlier in this chapter, okay, there are some things we need to establish. Now, we also need to establish Luke, the first chapter. Okay, uh, the the uh, when you get Luke the first chapter, really quick, um, you know the, the Messiah's birth foretold. This is before, all right. Uh, this is before the uh, Matthew, all right. The uh, the occurrence of these, uh, you know, uh, narratives, you know. I'm just trying to find the words. But ultimately, Luke, when you read Luke 1, this, all right, is before Matthew, all right, as far as when it happened. The angel came to Mary first, all right. But um, Lord willing, I'll get into that lesson tomorrow, all right, for the purpose of time. I'm just going to jump to a point here, all right, another way we know that the Messiah is the direct uh, descendant of David and that Mary and Joseph had sex are some very, very key things you should understand here. Now, this is when Yahweh is presented at the temple. Okay, now, 
this is Luke 2 and 21 it says and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child his name was called Yahawashai which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb okay before he was conceived in the womb man okay now the word conceived just look it up I'll look it up in the Greek as well all right it says to become pregnant with child man to get pregnant to become impregnated to become fertilized okay to become inseminated okay let's look it up in the Greek man so when the angel came to Mary all right we must understand it was before he was conceived okay now let's see here the word for conceived in the Greek Strong G forty eight fifteen Sulambano Sulambano All right to seize <laughs> to take all right cuz Jake uh, uh, Joseph took it all right he 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 laid with her man okay because of a woman all right uh, of lust who impulses and a man indulges now the the thing here is that you know there are some very very important customs that come with marriage all right but joseph all right uh when dealing with mary didn't follow those okay and we'll get into that whole uh, uh you know situation lord willing tomorrow and i'll load a few videos that we have on it already but you know the joseph you know he he, he got he got in there okay and he he it was, it was good to him all right they season now you know, people get all bugged out over the, uh, you know, whole rape uh, uh, law, the law that deals with rape. But all rape means is to seize. It doesn't mean you've beaten the shit out of a woman. It just means you you passionate. All right. You, 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 you took it. You got it. OK, so Joseph. OK. Uh, and Mary laid together. All right. And the Messiah was conceived in her womb. All right, but he was named Yahawashai in Luke, the first chapter. Okay, right here. Okay, Luke 1 and 31, when the angel told her, Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. All right, so what people jump to is verse 34, when Mary says, How is this being seeing I know not a man? Meaning I haven't laid with a man yet. Okay, all right, but we're going to get into that tomorrow. All right, but Luke, the second chapter. Okay, uh, the the uh, in the twenty first verse. All right, and the eight days were accomplished. Okay, for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahawashai, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Very important in understanding this all in the English language and the way that it's written is a snare in the stumbling block. Anyway, so here's the point. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished. Now, you need to stop here. Now, people just read these things and, and keep reading. No, well, you got to really. What does that mean? OK. <laughs> and when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished. And speaking of the law of Moses. OK, we're going to go to it. If the Messiah was not born through a seed of man, he is not perfect, according to the law. Now, does not the scripture say that he is was without sin? Let's see here. Let's see here. Hebrews 4 and 15. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. All right. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. Okay. Hebrews uh, 9 and 28, so Hamashiach once suffered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him, he shall appear the second time without sin unto salvation, all right, but there's there's other scriptures as well, all right, that the Messiah was, was, out, was without sin, now you ask a Christian, was the Messiah without sin, all right, uh, yes, was he perfect in the law of Moses, that's the question, that's a better question. Because right, they don't know what sin is. So was the Messiah perfect according to the law of Moses? I'm asking you, the listener, was he perfect according to the law of Moses? Do you do you think so? If you're saying yes, 
Okay, then we're going to go to the law of Moses, okay, which is, it says the laws of motherhood, okay, what a mother should do when she has a male child or a woman child, okay, Leviticus 12 and, and, and uh, 1, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, if a woman have conceived seed, let's look up the word seed, okay, pretty sure we saw this word earlier somewhere zarai okay to sow to scatter producing yielding seed to become pregnant all right to produce to yield seed okay so if a woman conceives seed okay if a woman conceived seed and born a man child then she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of separation for uh for her infirmity shall she be unclean and in the eighth day shall the flesh of his foreskin be circumcised. And she shall continue in the blood of her purification three and thirty days. She shall touch no hollow thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purification uh, be fulfilled. So if Mary, all right, did not take in a seed of a man. Okay, uh, that means that the Messiah was not perfect according to the law of Moses. Remember, he fulfilled the whole law. Okay, he was perfect in the law. He fulfilled the morning and evening. He fulfilled everything. He was the high priest. He was the perfect lamb without spot. His legs weren't broken. Okay, but right here, clearly, his mother conceived the seed, which is why here when we get luke the second chapter she continued in the days of her purification according to the law of moses see that she continued in the the the, the, the her purification why because according to the law of moses if you take in and conceive a seed okay uh she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of separation and in the eighth day Shall the skin of his foreskin be circumcised? Did the Messiah feel, fulfill that law? Absolutely. All right. And when the eight days were accomplished, Luke 2 and 22, for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahawashai. Okay. Which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, she brought forth, they brought him forth into Jerusalem and presented him unto the Lord. As it is written, in the law of the Lord, every male that opened at the womb shall be called holy of the Lord. Okay. Now, going back, let's read it again. Speak, because maybe I'm, I'm I'm talking too fast. Let's read it again to uh, drive this point home, because this is the this is a real big time cut. Okay. Why did Mary, if an angel put a seed in her? Why would she, if it wasn't a man putting the seed of her, why was she unclean? And why did she continue in the days of her purification? Speaking to the children of Israel, saying, if a woman conceived seed, sperm, okay, and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of separation. For her infirmity, she shall be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised which we've seen that then shall she continue in the blood of her purifying three and 30 days. All right, let's keep going here. Luke two. Okay. in 22. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses were accomplished. Okay. Now let's get the book of uh, uh, Galatians four. Just hit me. All right, Galatians 4 and 4. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son. Okay, because this is the son of God. When was he made the son of God in the heavens? All right, this is the first spirit created. Uh, uh, the only spirit created by the most high. Everything else was created by Yahweh Shai after that. Okay, but that that spirit eventually came down on the earth through the union of a man and a woman to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. So when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. Now. All right. The Messiah was born of a woman made under the law. 
Okay, so as we're bringing out here, the only reason Mary would continue in the days of her purification is because she conceived a seed and born a man child. You see what I'm saying? Is it's right there, man. Okay. Very, very easy to see. Okay, and we have various other scriptures we'll go into, but uh we'll end it here, this one here. Cause I don't want to make these super long. I'm gonna uh, uh, go into particular points um, Because it's so much man I mean let's get Romans real quick Romans uh, I believe 1 and 3 Okay Romans 1 and 3 Concerning his son Yahweh Shai Hamashiach our Lord Which was made of the seed of David According to the flesh Alright according to the flesh Okay According to the flesh, man. Seed, sperma. Okay, he was made of the seed of David, the sperma. Okay, which plants germinate, semen virale. Okay, family, tribe, posterity, so forth. All right, he was made of the sperm of David according to the flesh. Flesh is sarks. Okay, flesh. All right, the human body, man. Okay. And the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews, okay, Hebrews 2, okay, and 16, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels, speaking of Yahweh Shai, but he took on him the seed of Abraham, all right, through Isaac, <laughs> all right, and then who he had Jacob, and Jacob had Judah, all right, now, Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. So are his brethren, okay, are his brethren, all right, uh, born of a holy, uh, 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 you know, an angel, because he was made like unto them, all right, meaning he came in the flesh just like they came in the flesh. He had a mother and a father just like they had a mother and a father, man, that he might be merciful and faithful. All right, high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation, all right, for the sins of the people. This is that high priest, all right, that was to come from Judah. Okay, this is that high priest that was going to come from Judah, man, point blank, period. <laughs> that was promised in Genesis, the 49th chapter, man. Okay, and he was, you know, the, and, and people understood this, all right, because when you go to, let's get real quick, John. The uh, seventh chapter and the forty-second verse, when they were debating on whether it was him or not, this is one of the things that was said. Have not the scripture said that Hamashiach cometh from the seed of David, out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So there was a division an among the people because of him, because the Messiah was born in Bethlehem, but through the persecution of Herod. He uh, flee to Egypt, I mean, along with Joseph and Mary. Now, what father would allow a woman to tell him she was born of the Holy Spirit? Okay, let me write that down. Born, I'll, I'll tackle that tomorrow as well. Born of the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, knew not a man. I'll do those tomorrow. And then Luke, then Matthew, because getting older but uh been taking some supplements my mind is getting a little bit more uh the memory is getting better gold supplements you know get you uh, like some collodial gold or something with gold that deals with your neurological um, but anyway the, they knew all right that the messiah was to come from the seed of david so he 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 fleed to egypt with Joseph and Mary Yeah what man is going to say Well yeah uh, Okay this child was born of the Holy Spirit And then flee to Egypt with it No you tell me That the, you pregnant by the Holy Spirit you Let the Holy Spirit take care of you and that child I'm not fleeing And putting my life in danger for your ass And this child that you saying Was you, you, the, the Holy Spirit miraculously You know came upon you No Alright <laughs> You out of your damn mind. So the, the uh, uh, Joseph was the biological father 
of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Now, um, when you, uh, where was I at? I'll just go here. Um, Luke, not Luke, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. All right. And this was written by Solomon. All right. Who in the spirit. All right. If you can receive it, that is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Who came through David. That was the one who forwarded the throne for 40 years. All right. But he, he would come as Yahweh Shai to forward, you know, the throne forever. All right. It says, I myself am a mortal man like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. All right. And in my mother's womb. Okay. And it's speaking of the first of the living, you know, which ultimately is Adam. And Adam was not the first man on the earth. But when you look at all of the nations that are on the earth, all right, they all go back to Adam through Noah, who had Shem, Ham and Japhet. Okay. So I myself am a mortal man, okay, like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months, all right, being compacted in blood, okay, of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep, okay. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth which is of like nature and the first voice which I uttered was crying as all others do I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares for there is no king that hath any other beginning of birth for all men have one inches of life and the light going out okay and so notice here in verse 4 Solomon says something that's very important all right I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares. Okay. This is Luke 2 and 7. And she brought forth her force firstborn son, showing you she had more children. Okay. And the, the, even the people in the city knew that Mary had other children that Yahweh had brothers and sisters. All right. And she brought for, forth her firstborn son. Okay. And wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room left for them in the inn. <laughs> All right, Luke 2 and 12. And this shall be the sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in manger. All right, so, so, so Solomon is speaking in the spirit of his birth. All right, but he's also speaking in the spirit of Yahweh's birth, who would be through the seed of a man. All right, and Yahweh Shai is the king, and the scripture says there is no king that hath any other beginning of birth. All right, now a lot of people like to bring up Melchizedek, but he had neither mother or father. We know that at least if you want to take this approach of the virgin birth, the Messiah had a mother. Well, without a father, he couldn't come onto the earth. Okay, he was nursed in swaddling clothes, and there is no king that hath any other beginning of birth for all men have one interest into life and that's through the seed of a man and the light going out and these people all right uh they're into this uh whole vibe that this world is uh, to cut off the uh the the patriarch man now this dude got this this uh face covering on with fire on it and there's so many signs the lord is showing in these latter days man and this dude is a bug out. I remember him. He, he, when you hear him talk, you're like, man, shut the hell up. All right. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, the, but I, I, I remember him, you know, when I first came in, he would pop in and out, you know, debating and crying about the virgin birth and, you know, exposing particular things about particular camps, complaining and, you know, but, you know, all of this sellout activity, you know, going to, you know, vocab Malone, you know. It's just proof you men aren't, you know, the, the, the true leaders. And now that you see the, the camps flourishing, you all pop back up uh, with your madness uh, to try to, you know, either get a little money or a little, you know, fame or notoriety or just be a damn nigga, man. But at the end of the day, uh, that's my first installment going into this virgin birth. Uh, Lord willing, I'll load a few videos, uh, 
that I have done on it in the past, that brothers have done, that I have, if the uh, spirit allows. But hopefully you all were edified, man. That's the point, you know, of these uh, videos. There's so much more I'm thinking of to bring out, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. Shalom.